Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel and I am now answering question number 11 from the specimen paper of the 0580 um, Cambridge paper 2 non-calculator paper. And here we have a question which is um, question number 11 uh, to do with indices. Okay. And here we have a question dealing with fractional indices. Now again, we're not allowed to use the calculator in such questions. So we have to know how to deal with these um, without the calculator and when I'm dealing with indices and numbers rather than uh, letters I like to use search so I like to use roots and powers so we have to know some of the um, basic rules of indices and one of the things that we should see when we have fractional powers is this rule that a to the power of m over n is equal to and the denominator is the root so it's the nth root of a to the power of m the numerator is the power the denominator is the root the numerator is the power the denominator is the root so for 64 and two-thirds 64 and two-thirds you're gonna have your your root sign now the denominator is uh, the, the sorry the denominator is going to be the root and the numerator is going to be the power so this is going to be the cube root of 64 squared so the denominator is the root and the numerator is the power denominator is the root numerator is the power I have to remember that all right so this is the cube root of 64 squared now when we're trying to calculate this in the past you just put it in your calculator for example we can't do that now so what what you have to understand or to make life easier for yourself um, in fact make it kind of even possible in this type of case is it's always easy to find the root first and then raise to the power okay so always find the root and then raise to the power because it makes the number smaller first and then it's easier to deal with if you if you if you use a power first and then the root your number you're going to find is going to be big it's going to make everything more difficult now we should know our our cube numbers our square numbers and so on so the cube root of 64 you should know that this is 4 which that's going to give us 4 squared and we should know 4 squared is equal to 16 so our answer is going to be 16 all right so we should know our square numbers we should know our cube numbers very important like 1 for square numbers 4 9 16 25 36 and so on and cube numbers we should know at least one one cubed is one two cubed is eight three cubed is 27 four cubed is 64 five cubed is 125 at least up to these we should know those cubed and those squared numbers if we know further than that that's even better okay that's even better um for for squared numbers you should know at you know third 49 and 64 and 81 and 100 and so on okay 121 144 12 squared we should know these squared and cube numbers for us to be able to answer questions like this in a very quick quick manner so those numbers should be in our brains okay so we understand how to do such questions so that's basically the uh this question as i said i'm answering the questions you know question by question so that i don't um uh, i can save each question in a separate video according to topic as well as according to the paper so if you want to see other questions from this paper, the link is over here. If you want to see other questions from the topic of indices, um, um, you know, indices basically, um, you can find the questions for that over here. And questions from the older papers dealing with indices, where maybe we might have used calculators to check and stuff, you can find that in, in this uh, link over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link up here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.